da, da. the number of words that you write in an essay and the actual score you get because students have the um, believe in the stereotype that the more you write, the higher score you get. That so, sounds very interesting. Um, uh, if you'd like to help us, can you give us like a sample of anonymous 20 essays? Sure. Okay. Thank you. All right. Well, do you think that students believe in the stereotype that the more you write, the higher score you'll get? Yeah. Why? Because it's like more and more. They see this correlation between the two. First. So, do you believe that writing more is generally better? Like, it results in a higher grade? Well, yeah, usually because teachers, I think when teachers look at essays, if they see a really short essay on a time writing essay, they would tend to think that it doesn't have as many ideas. So, they tend to grade higher with longer essays. Do so you often try to write more or less? Less. Less? Really? Yes. Why? Because it's easier. <laughs> It does in some ways because if their body paragraphs don't have enough analysis, which is going to take more than four or five sentences to do, they need to shoot for more like nine, ten, twelve sentences of your paper in general. So um, in order to have more depth, you would advise your students to write more? I advise them to write more, however, at the same time, if something can be said with brevity and be just as insightful and have just as much depth with fewer words, then that may in fact be a, a better sentence. Uh, okay, so Ms. Tan, do you think the length of a typed essay affects the grade it receives? Um, I think that the length of an essay is somewhat related to the content of it. So if I see an essay that's not very long, it's probably not very well written and which means it's probably not thorough enough. Um, but I mostly focus on the content rather than like the essays. Um, Ms. Chu, generally speaking, are high-scoring essays in your class also longer? Um, I think they tend to be longer only because they provide more in-depth commentary and analysis. So those are usually better because it has more material. Um, do you think the length of a timed essay affects the grade it receives? No, I don't think the, the length of an essay affects the grade it receives because it depends on the quality of the essay. Okay, this is Teacher X and we're going to interview him. Okay. When grading papers, do you take into account the length of the essay? Uh, only in the sense of the quality of the essay. Uh, it bothers me more if the long essays are bad because I have to spend more time on a bad essay. Uh, so I prefer if the essay is going to be bad that they keep it short so that my time uh, isn't wasted. But every essay uh, gets read. Uh, I read every word. Uh, I mark up the papers extensively. Uh, again, it's about the quality of the information uh, rather than the length. Sometimes students believe that they write a lot, they just sort of sort of random information in there. Oh, I'm going to have to throw 20 things in my essay. But if only 10 are any good, then that's what you're getting rated on. You've got 10 good things and 10 bad things. Well, that's, that's going to be maybe at best a C grade. Whereas if you just focus on those 10 good things, uh, that's most likely going to be above a C grade and not quite possibly a B grade. So, um, you know, students have to learn to edit themselves to sort of go, well, you know, they think, well, I got 10 good things in there, shouldn't that count? Now if you have 10 crappy things in there, and the emphasis has to be on the quality, and if the students listen to me more regarding that, they can probably be more successful. Thank you, teacher.
Mom, Hi. <laughs> Hi, this is Mr. Falk, and he's an English 11 honors teacher, and we chose him to um, provide the data for us for our project because he grades on an AP scale and um, he has a wide range of scores. So, um, what, what do you suspect the results of this experiment will show? In other words, what is your hypothesis? My guess is that uh, the length of the paper will not have an effect on the score. What was the preconceived notion that you had? It doesn't affect it? It doesn't affect it. Um, do you have a recommended minimum for your students? In yes. I like a page and a half to two pages. In order to complete our interview and get a full or uh, a better knowledge of what the teacher thinks of this correlation, um, we're giving him, Mr. Falk, a copy of our analysis of our data. It says, um, uh, the core coefficient of determination, because it's not accurate, our slogan, or our, um, our equation, mm -hmm. and it's saying that our equation is really not accurate, mm -hmm. so it kind of reinforces the idea that um, there is no relationship. It's like only like 6% mass can be um, predicted. Oh, okay. Also, it's really low. Yeah. Yeah. Now your comments at the end are good, too, because our sample size Why do you think there are outliers in the data? I think because there really isn't a strong correlation between the number of words and the essay score. Wait. Oh. What are your opinions and viewpoints on the common stereotype that the more you write, the higher um, grade the essay receives? Well, it's sort of what I said earlier. I think that um, there are some teachers, mm -hmm. and I and I don't, I wouldn't necessarily say they're in the English department or mm -hmm. even necessarily that they're on Roland's campus, mm -hmm. that aren't looking as closely as maybe they could be or should be mm -hmm. at the writing that students produce. And simply by seeing the first impression of, wow, there's lots of writing here, there's lots of words, it must be good, I think sometimes that stereotype tends to lead um, to higher because, I don't um, think they should follow it. I, in my personal opinion, I think that what matters is the answer. Is it is the answer good? Now, is the answer stated in two pages and is good or four pages and is good? What really matters to me is the answer. So I think people should be aware of the stereotype, and I think that they should try to avoid it. What would you? Uh, what advice would you give students who purposely prolong their essays to meet the recommended minimum of an essay? Like you said that, oh, you want a page or a page. I think half. I think that they should. In that particular case, mm -hmm. where there is a set minimum, uh -huh. I think they need to make sure that they meet the set minimum. Okay. And they may have to add some fluff or prolong the essay. Mm -hmm. But in at least in my case, in my classes, a, a page and a half is still a very brief paper. It's just not a very long, mm -hmm. long, long essay. Um, what do you, as a teacher, personally conclude from this project? That there wasn't a correlation between the number of words in an essay and the score that was uh, that was given. Do you like the results of this study? Yes. Okay. Um, thank you. You're welcome.